flaps not to gear. Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. East Texas Regional, KGGG, is a medium-sized multi-use airport located south of the city of Longview, Texas. It has associated class Delta airspace that underlies its terminal radar service area. There are very few terminal radar service areas remaining across the national airspace system. And for this reason, pilots may not be familiar with the requirements and operating procedures for operating within them. Being aware of and fully understanding this type of airspace is critically important before leaving for East Texas Regional Airport. The traffic mix consists of primary flight training aircraft, along with air carrier, and military as well. Several flight schools make East Texas their home. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes this an interesting place to fly. The airport configuration consists of two intersecting runways, 1331 and 1836. Parallel taxiways are located alongside both runways. While most of the services and facilities are west of runway 1836, there are a few hangars and a flight school located around the perimeter of the field. Land and hold short, or lasso, procedures are utilized on runway 31 and 36. While it is also the pilot's prerogative to say, unable, to this type of clearance, the place to do so is not on short final. Advise the controller with enough time to allow them to come up with an alternative traffic plan. While there are no official hotspots on the airport, several areas warrant special attention. For pilots who have not visited the airport in a while and are watching this video as a refresher, please note the surface that was runway 422 is now taxiway November. Taxiway Golf ends just north of Taxiway November. There is a taxiway centerline that extends all the way to where Taxiway Alpha begins. However, the entire expanse west of this line and in between these two points is a non-movement area. While taxiing for departure on runway 13, pilots will encounter a set of runway hold short markings located a considerable distance from the runway end. These hold short markings are labeled runway 13 approach. Pilots may be instructed to hold short at this line during inclement weather. When given the clearance onto the runway after holding at the approach hold line, pilots are to taxi past the first and second set of hold short lines. Continual scanning outside the aircraft while taxiing and asking the tower if you're unsure of how to proceed will help mitigate this potential confusion. Wrong direction intersection departures have occurred primarily on runway 1331. Verifying your aircraft heading matches the runway you have been cleared to depart will go a long way in avoiding this potentially dangerous situation. Being aware of the geometry and other configuration challenges at East Texas Regional Airport will help pilots make better decisions and along with the ATC tower, keep the operations safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the East Texas Regional Airport. It's always better to know before you go.